Welcome back to Vlogmas, where I post every single day for 25 days until Christmas. So today's Vlogmas video is going to be an old thrifting video that I found on my hard drive that never made it to the internet. I liked this video. I was sad that I never put it up. I don't know why. I'm wearing summer clothes because it was summertime. It's just a little thrifting video. And um, I'm gonna see if I can dig up some old footage from the summer and make a vlog compilation out of it. If so, I'll post it. If not, obviously, I'll keep posting the new content, but yeah, it's just a thrifting vlog today So I hope you guys enjoy it and I would say let me know if you want to see more But all the thrift stores are probably closed right now because there's another lockdown So um, just reminisce on the good old days with me in this video So today I'm just vlogging I guess like another random day where I don't have anything planned If I'm being honest, I'm leaving the house right now with absolutely no purpose I'm going through a dilemma right now so I live in an apartment that I'm probably going to move out of by the end of October and go somewhere else. I don't know what my plan is yet, if I'm being real. Long story short, because I know I'm not staying here, I never bothered to get an AC unit. Now that I'm living in a heat wave, it's probably one of the biggest regrets that I've had. There's no more like secondhand AC units and I don't feel like dropping $500 for something I'll only be using for two months. So I'm just suffering. So long story short, I'm leaving my house so I can be in AC. I'm not even joking. My car has AC, the stores have AC, anywhere I go has AC, except for where I live. So I'm fucking leaving. I'm just so happy my car has AC because it didn't used to. I had to get that installed like because it was broken. So thank you, Jesus Christ. So because of that, I'm kind of just like running random errands that I just, I can think of so I'm looking for a sewing machine I'm looking for a skateboard I guess they're not errands but I'm just doing things I'm looking for a sewing machine and a skateboard I'm gonna get an iced coffee and I think that's really it like I'm, when I hop into the thrift stores I'm just gonna look for a few items I may or may not bring the camera in with me depending on how confident I'm feeling in there that's pretty much all I have planned honestly like it's embarrassing I like it's taking all of me to not make the decision to sleep in my car. Like, that's how hot I get. There's The fan is just blowing hot air. The fan does something, but not much. Oh, another thing is that I'm, like, embarrassed to share this, but I, I'm just sharing it because, like, I'm usually pretty open with you guys. <sighs> guys, don't ever get ground floor apartments, okay? If there's one word of advice for you, don't do it. I am the cleanest person you could ever meet. Like, I'm not joking, I'm so freaking clean that I'm scared to have a potential roommate because I know that I'm probably gonna be a very difficult person. So, that's just me telling you how clean I am. I have a mouse. I have a mouse. I clean every single week. I mop, I sweep, I dust. I bleach, I get corners, I vacuum, I do bath, I clean. This little rodent decided to enter my apartment. So I told my landlord or whatever, I told my property manager and she pretty much let me know like, she lives on ground floor too and it's happened to her too. She said pest control's coming and so pest control came and they showed me where it came in from. There's like these holes in the cupboard. So here's the thing, I'm very, very, I'm not lucky at all but in the situation that I'm in, I'm a little lucky because it's actually not running around my apartment. That's why I have not moved out yet or burned the place down yet. If it, like, it's not in my apartment, it's just in the cupboards, you know what I mean? So it came through a hole and it entered the cupboards. So now what I did is I just taped the cupboards shut so I don't accidentally open them and it just kind of roams around in there. I got Shingy to empty those cupboards out and we cleaned them all out, took everything out, so now they're just empty and the little stupid shit is running around in there. And um, that's just it. So it hasn't gone into my stuff, my room, my nothing. It's just stuck in the cupboards, which is still disgusting and I hate it. But I can sleep peacefully at night knowing it's not going anywhere because it's taped shut and the cracks are like, it won't fit through the cracks. So that's where I'm at in life right now. It's great, <laughs> it's amazing. One dollar drinks and two dollar smoothies at McDonald's. By the way guys, if you see like the drips over here, it's cause I just washed my hair. So my hair is still kind of wet and it's like dripping. Ugh, I hate that feeling so much, but 
I had to leave the house to make it on time for this thrift store, but it's not sweat because I got AC now. I got AC in my car, so that's why I'm, I'm nice and cool and chill. So anyways, I don't really know what to talk about. I really don't. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be hanging out with two of my friends, both childhood friends. So I've known them for like, let's say 12 years or so. Um, we're going to be going to try some freaking... We're gonna go try some Korean corn dogs. So like, you know, like the corn dogs with the cheese in them and the hot dog and the crunchy outside. Ooh, they look so good. We're gonna go try those. Both of them are really big foodies. So we definitely get along really well because they're we're all huge foodies. So we're gonna drive down to North York and try that out. Guys, right now I'm like going through this dilemma. My dilemma is like, what am I doing next in terms of living? Like, am I moving? Am I staying? Am I gonna have a roommate? Am I gonna live alone? Like, what's the next move? You know what I mean? I'm content right now, but I also wouldn't mind going half on rent with someone, you know? I would not mind that at all. Do I need to? No. Would I be more comfy and happy with more money in my bank account? Absolutely. But I'm sacrificing my freedom and my, my solitude. And if you guys don't know me, I fucking love solitude. I fucking thrive in solitude. I love being alone. I love eating alone. I love cooking alone. I love waking up alone. I love, I just love being alone. And I feel like I'm really compromising a big part of my happiness, which is living alone. But I also know that it could be really good. And the, the potential roommate that I would have is someone like, like one of the, one of two people that I could live with. I'm two minutes away from the thrift store. In case anyone's wondering, it's called Mission Thrift. And they have a shit ton of furniture, big items, electronics. So I'm feeling like this one is very likely to have something I'm looking for, but I don't know. They also close really early, they close at six. So I have 20 minutes to shop. But like, they ha like it's not closed, right? So I don't take that long, because either I want it or I don't. Why do people wear masks in their cars? Why do people wear masks in their cars? I like, I'd like to think that every time I see a person with a mask on in their car, they're an Uber driver. Cause like, why would anybody need to do that? The second I get in my car, I take that shit off. I take it off. I don't need to be wearing that for longer than I have to because that thing is not, it is not coming. So I just pulled up to the thrift store. So, ew, I have lip gloss on. <laughs> ew, I hate. Oh my god. So cute. Ew, I hate when it's under my glasses, but these glasses are kind of big. So yeah, I'm gonna go in now. If I'm not feeling <laughs> anxious, I'll show you guys around. But if I am, I'll see you in two seconds in my car again. So I found a sewing machine, but it's way too bulky. It's probably amazing quality because it's old, but it's just too much. So I'm not gonna go for this one. So that thrift store was really small and full of old people. So I didn't take the vlog camera out just for like 10 seconds to show you guys they did have a sewing machine they did and it was only 45 dollars and i could tell it was a really good quality one and i'm pretty sure it worked but i just don't know if it's what i need because it's not portable so right now i'm in front of talese i'm gonna go to talese and see what they have hopefully show you guys some clips but yeah let's just keep shopping okay so this is the fit of the day i'm in the talese changing room and I'm gonna try some stuff on. So over here, I have this cute little Y2K inspired top and behind it's a little crop top that it's not so much my style, but whatever, I'm gonna try it. Then as you can see, I found some nice ass jeans, the exact jeans I'm looking for, they're Calvin Klein, which is cool because I love getting high quality brands at thrift stores for super cheap, so. Then there are these Zara jeans over here, both a similar type of jean. This Costa Blanca white dress, very Y2K as well. So these ones are the Calvin Klein jeans and I love them. They fit me perfectly. They're the exact type of jean that I've been looking for. So 100% I am getting these. Not a fan of these. They look like they don't fit. If they were high waisted, maybe um, they just don't fit my waist. So yeah, this is what they look like on. Mm -mm. Nope. This one reminded me of high school, just too basic.
And this one, after looking at it a few more times, I realized uh, it's a no for me. All right, so I did my shopping, I got some stuff. I ended up with a crock pot, very random. It's because I want to make the birria tacos. So I saw the girl on YouTube have a crock pot. There's one there for $11, so I was like, all right, cool, I'm buying it. It looks like brand new, so it was really clean. I'm just gonna like, obviously really, really deep clean it and then use it. I got a cute skirt at the first thrift store that I forgot to show you guys. It's like pleated skirt. I'm just gonna cut it because it's really fucking long. And this was like $4. Everything at that thrift store was $4 or $2. It was so cheap. I forgot to mention that about the first one. It was super, super cheap. And I would go back for sure with more time because it, it it's not the nicest. Like you really got to dig. So I'll probably do that again next time. I got a cute halter bikini top. Um, I have gray bottoms that match it. I've never bought a bikini at the thrift store before. I think I'm only comfortable with buying tops personally. Um, but I bought that so I got those Calvin Klein jeans that look so good on me I came out with them on and the guy there's like this um, Really fashionable like gay guy outside and he was like girl you better buy it blah 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 He's like telling me ooh, if you do like the poetic justice braids and like big hoops and blah 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 and, Like telling me how to style it red lip gold th gold this gold everything like going off He's like fray the bottoms cut it at the edges and start fraying it so it looks even better wear this type of belt with it. I was like, oh my God, I need to take notes. Like he was going off. He's like, you look like the type of girl that everything looks good on. You got it, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, wow, I feel so nice right now. And he was so sweet and supportive and like creative. I was like, damn, okay. They should pay you more here. And then I got this cute bag here. It has like a long strap that I, it's kind of broken, but it's kind of cute. So I bought that. This, I don't really know about. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it, but it was $2. And I was contemplating it for so long. I was like, you know what, just buy it. If you don't wear it, you don't wear it, it's $2. But I feel like I'll be able to wear it with like a dress or something, because I've been wearing like girlier stuff lately, because I guess I'm a girl now. Then I got this cute dress. It's very like early 2000s, um, Costa, Costa Blanca. And it's really cute, very like, I don't know what it looks like. Um, so that is my little thrift haul. Now I'm going to get my iced coffee and go home. So I got the Starbucks. I got two. I got a grande. Oh my God, I'm still wearing my mask. Hold on guys. Ew. What is this life that we're living? I got, uh, oh my God, okay. So yeah, anyways, I got a iced cold brew. Why are you giving me attitude for it? Did I not stop? Bro, honestly, I'm not even gonna go off about the type of men that I despise, but there's a certain type of men that I despise. A certain type of men that I despise. I was driving and I stopped, and the man, because I wasn't, I didn't stop slow enough for him, he goes, and he gives me like that face. You know that face. I know you guys know what face I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry. I just got that look. Did I stop? Yes, I didn't run you over. I didn't, yeah, uh, anyways. So yeah, so like <clears throat> we got, it's for my cousin and I, um, the iced cold brew with sweet cream. I asked for white mocha, they ran out. So I got vanilla. So I never tried this exact drink with vanilla before, but I've tried their vanilla syrup. So let's see how it tastes. Mm, that tastes so good. God, I've been drinking a lot of McDonald's iced coffee lately. And like I enjoy iced coffee from McDonald's until I have Starbucks again and then I'm like, oh, this is why I get Starbucks. This is why I used to get it every day. I used to get it every day when I had the drive through next to my house, every day. I also wasn't paying rent those days, so things were different. This is good, but I wanna mix it so I can enjoy it more. So I'm gonna drink most of it at home. But I guess that concludes my video. I don't really know what else to talk about. I have to go home and bring all this stuff in and clean. So I guess I'll just close off the video now. I hope you kind of enjoyed this. I don't know. Um, please let me know if you enjoyed these videos where I'm doing nothing. Because I feel like they're so boring. But nobody really tells me what they think of them. So I just keep doing them. And meanwhile, you guys could fucking hate them and just avoid them, you know? So let me know. 
Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!